This is the install video for our uh, new version of our plus six extensions for the M&P 9mm and 40 caliber. We changed the design from the back locking plate to set screws up front that will lock onto the rail. Uh, it will come with an Allen wrench for the set screws. You remove the set screws because you should put some Loctite on them when you install the magazine. Set those to the side for now. <clears throat> the stock magazine plates do not fit um, our magwell because they are designed to the size and shape of the frame rather than being uh, able to fit inside of the magwell funnel. So when you go to put them in, they will stop on that. If we were to make the magwell open enough so that it could fit that inside of it, then what would happen would be we'd have these huge ledges on the inside here that could stop the uh, mag change completely and it would not function properly as a magwell. So um, you can take your tool from the uh, back strap or a screwdriver or something just to push down that locking plate and then push the plate forward. Um, some magazines will have that metal locking plate that has the knob in the center. Same thing for disassembly, just push that down. Um, to take it off of the spring, you will have to wrap it around in order to remove it. You do need to remove that from the spring, <clears throat> otherwise you um, will not get the full capacity. Your spring should be, you know, three inches or so past the magazine with it nice and tight in there. This spring looks good. Uh, we do sell extra coil springs. It adds one extra coil for the extra strength if you are having trouble with the slide locking back. We haven't had any feeding issues with the stock springs though. Um, we do recommend that if it isn't sticking out enough that you can grab the coil that comes to full size here and the end coil and stretch them out a little bit so that it does stick out um, that good two to three inches. Um, they will compress back down over time, so getting the extra coil springs um, will be more of a long-term solution if you are having any issues. Um, hold the spring down, and then you will slide. But first, we need to install the screws. <clears throat> so, we do sell this small thing of blue Loctite on our website. If you already have blue Loctite, um, it's a medium bond is what you want to use, Loctite or some other thread locker. This one is number 243. Take and put just a small dab on something. Looks like there's some hardened bit there. Don't need a whole lot. Just enough to coat a few threads. So you don't want a ton on there because then it'll actually come out of the hole as you uh, put it down. You always want to turn to the left first until you feel it kind of drop into place and then start turning to the right. Turn it all the way down so that it sits underneath that top surface so that when you slide the mag body on there, it slides on smoothly. I'll put that down just a little bit more because it looks like it is sticking up a bit. And you can see there was some of the Loctite bubbling up, so that one had a little bit more than necessary. Uh, if it does have quite a bit more, then what you'll want to do is take a um, Q-tip or something and uh, remove the excess Loctite from around the top of the holes so that it doesn't uh, get onto your mag body and stuff. <clears throat> you can check it ahead of time, make sure everything slides on smoothly. Um, there is a bit of grittiness there. Part of that is um, 
it is tight to the mag and so it kind of scrapes a little bit of the paint there. Some of these mags, you can see how it has wear marks in the back here, but not so much in the front, is because they are just a little bit wider in the back here than they are up front. But with this locking design, you do want to have it nice and tight to the magazine. Um, I grabbed another new mag yesterday and it was loose on there, so. Not all mags are exactly the same. Hold down the spring and get it nice and tight up against that top surface and then slowly work its way on there. Push it all the way on nice and firmly. Um, if the magazine body is a little bit loose, the extension will want to pop backwards after you push it on. So just hold it forward as you um, mess with the screws. So now that the screws are down there, they are underneath the actual mag rail. So now we want to back the screws up so they actually capture the rail. It's usually about four to five turns, uh, depending on if you bottomed out the screw, then it might be a few more. If you just did it just under the surface, four to five is what um, is usually what you want. You want the screw to just stick up about even or a little bit above that um, flat right there so that it um, captures the rail completely. A little low still. That screw must have sank down to the bottom. Camera's having trouble focusing today. Um, but yeah, that's about where you want it. It's nice and tight. It's not going to be sliding off of there. Make sure you check that. And yep, yeah, that is the new design for our Plus 6 mag extensions and uh, the install instructions. This is our new enforcer porting um, with a Poseidon full serrations design. The slide was optic ready, and so we recut it for the Steiner MPS. We can do that on the optic ready models for the Steiner MPS or the Aimpoint Acro. Um, the Steiner does say that it will attach to the Aimpoint Acro plates, but we um, cut specifically for one or the other because they are just different enough that the MPS doesn't attach securely enough to the acro cut that um, we decided it was best to do it for them individually. It's nice and low. These are the stock height sights from the metal frame pistols, so they're nice and low and uh, work perfect for this. The actual optic itself, glass, it's right on top of the slide.